Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. So we continue with j 3 by 2x and j minus 3 by 2x in this video. Okay, so first of all, you have to by heart two uh, formulae that is the derivative of j n x multiplied by x power minus n and the derivative of j n x multiplied by x power n and the second thing you have to understand is if you plug in n equal to 1 by 2 in the red color equation that is equation number 1 can you see we will get 1 by 2 plus 1 1 by 2 plus 1 will be 1.5 that will be 3 divided by 2 and if you plug in n equal to minus 1 by 2 we get minus 3 by 2 in the second one now before we start let me make one more thing very clear that is x to the power 3 by 2 you should not have any confusion when we work on the problem it is actually x power 1 by 2 the whole cube and x power 1 by 2 means root x the whole cube that is square root of x into square root of x into square root of x that gives you x root x or another way to understand this is this is x to the power 1.5 1.5 means one and a half so there will be one full x and there will be one half power of x half power of x means x into root x anyhow you have to understand x to the power 3 by 2 is x multiplied by root x similarly if you have x to the power 5 by 2 you have to understand it is like two and a half so there will be x times x that is x squared and root x and one more very important thing suppose we have a to the power minus m that is 1 divided by so if you ever get x to the power minus 3 by 2 you have to understand 1 by x root x now look at this there are many other methods to prove it but uh, i feel this is one good method that's it there are many other reduction formulae also you can prove it in many different ways anyway i suggest this method okay okay so the first thing you have to remember is you have to find j 1 by 2x do you still remember j 1 by 2x so i'm giving you two options in examination if you want you can derive it it will take hardly um, if you practice very well it will take hardly two minutes for you to find j 1 by 2x but if you have a very good memory power you can by heart it it is root 2 by root pi times root x into sin x and i'll also say uh, keeping it in your memory will be very good if they ask j 3 by 2 it's better that you keep the values of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 in your mind otherwise in examination you'll be wasting a lot of time deriving all these things okay now what we do is if you want to find j 3 by 2 i already told you you can take the first formula because 1 by 2 plus 1 will give you 3 by 2 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this formula over here okay so what we do is we are going to plug in so put n is equal to 1 by 2 look at this the right side will give me 3 by 2 so uh, we get d by dx of x to the power minus 1 by 2 what is x to the power 1 by 2 root x what is x to the power minus 1 by 2 of course it will be 1 by root x and this will become j 1 by 2x in examination it is better to write one step but here i'm not going to waste your time so let's do it directly we will get j 1 by 2x and that is root 2 by root pi into root x into sin x is equal to minus x to the power minus 1 by 2 will be 1 by root x and of course the most wanted quantity that is j 3 by 2 x okay now let's differentiate this 
and you can see that this root 2 by root pi is a constant so what we do is we keep the constant outside and the remaining part will be derivative of sin x divided by x is equal to minus 1 by root x j 3 by 2 x now we will extract the required quantity our hero j 3 by 2 x is equal to okay minus will go to the other side this root x will go to the other side so basically you get root 2 by root pi into root x and the derivative what's the derivative uh, i'm skipping steps so in examination and when you practice make sure you write all the steps so come on tell me the derivative you know u by v rule very well so denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator the whole divided by denominator square okay now do you remember what we did in um, what do you call our j 1 by 2 i told you one very very important thing we will somehow make the numerator into x and it can be achieved by multiplying numerator and denominator by root x so this becomes uh, minus root 2 by root pi into root x and the numerator will become x can you see root x into root x will become x and i'm going to take it inside so we get x squared into cos x minus x into sin x the whole divided by x squared now we are almost uh, near the end do you remember what will happen if you introduce minus of a minus b of course the position of b and a will be interchange that is you get b minus a so there is a negative and there is our a minus b so when you introduce this negative so you get root 2 by pi x and this will get flipped so we get x sin x minus x squared into cos x the whole divided by x squared so you have to memorize this because sometimes they will ask you j 5 by 2x and if they ask you j 5 by 2x there are two options you derive j 1 by 2 then you derive j 3 by 2 then you derive j 5 by 2 that method is okay it sounds logical that you don't have to buy hard this stuff but it will waste a lot of time in exam so in my opinion it's better that you buy hard these values okay and sometimes in examination what they do is they will ask prove that and they will ask a slightly different format and don't get worried about it because if you have a minus b the whole divided by c we know that it is equal to a by c minus b divided by c so this becomes root under 2 by pi x and divide this what will you get yeah sin x divided by x minus what will you get here x square and x square will get cancelled and you'll get cos x okay so you can try j minus 3 by 2 x now itself but remember you have to use the uh, other result so that's it that's that's a small video in the next video we will do uh, we will work out with j 5 by 2 x but before that try j minus 3 by 2 x if you want to see the relation i will show it over here yeah so if you want j minus 3 by 2 you have to plug in yeah you can take a screenshot you have to plug in n equal to minus 1 by 2 in the green equation so that's it so i'll be back with j5 by 2 in the next video